Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and today I'm talking to Neil Vernon of Gresham Computing, and we're going to talk about reconciliations. Correct. So it, it's kind of the conventional wisdom in the industry that uh, we've kind of figured out reconciliations a, a number of years ago, but do you think that we're going through a, another bit of a renaissance with reconciliations at the moment? I do, but let's just examine that um, sorting out of reconciliations a number of years ago. So when I started in reconciliations, which was about 97, I was asked to look at the recon department of a bank, a big tier one. And at that time, the, the reconciliations were done on settlement date plus one. So you do the trade today, three, five, seven, a number of days later, you do a reconciliation, days after the trade is done. And that department at that time was using highlighter pens, calculators with ribbons, lots and lots of printouts, a manual exercise. In fact, so manual that there were gates on how much trading the bank could do because the recon department couldn't, couldn't keep up. So we were, we were asked to look at it and we got ourselves a computer and we built an automated reconciliation platform for that department. Huge success, enabled the bank to save more. The word innovation hadn't really been invented then, so it was just a good idea. And uh, that bank traded more. Other banks, I think, had the same ideas, actually. It's not like we were unique. And lots of banks automated their reconciliation department. And over time, those banks exchanged ideas, best practice formed. And over a period of time, that whole process became much more commoditized. And we reached a point in sort of 2006, 2007, where people were invested in, in reconciliation utilities. And those utilities became offshored to cheaper locations. So at that point, by 2008, recon was a bit of a done deal. It'd been highly commoditized. Everybody was doing it the same way. So why now are we talking so much more about recon? Well, the reality is that in, even in 2008, or uh, even since 2008, those recon departments are still settlement date plus one recs. They do what's called Nostro recs really, really well. They, set, they check the cash position, they check the stock position, but it is settlement date plus one, which is bad in an equity world of T plus three, you know, it's four days. It's really, really bad in an OTC world where it's one year, two year, 25 years, and the first check that takes place, the first real check that takes place is on, uh, is, is on settlement date. So what's happened in, the, in that intervening time between 2008 and now is there's been much more focus on what takes place in the middle office and the checks and balances that the middle office employ on T0 and T plus one. Part of that focus has been because of the fraud events, the very, very well-known fraud events where traders have exploited this lack of control and particularly lack of control around internal trades and have created fraudulent trades to hide bad positions. And the middle office, being so manual, being so spreadsheet based, has not been able to detect those frauds. So there's been a focus there, and people are looking to see how they can improve the middle office control environment. And that's why now the checks and balances that a recon engine does are being deployed into the middle office. But the middle office is a, cha is a challenging environment. It's a real-time environment. Trades get amended and amended and amended. You know, there's fat finger problems. Mm -hmm. And engines that are not designed to deal with real-time, engines that have not been designed to, to, to deal with cancels and amends, engines that have not been designed to deal with millions and millions of transactions tend to fail. So recon departments have failed to implement in the middle office historically. New tools, innovation has appeared in, in, in the recon market. And so we are at a point now where we can automate the middle office, just like we did in 97 and 98, automate the back office. And that's why you're seeing this renaissance, as, as the middle office seeks to ditch its spreadsheet-based environment and replace it with proper, audited, enterprise-level uh, reconciliation controls. So I wanted to delve into a bit more detail on, on the drivers for this renaissance. You, you mentioned some of the, the fraud cases that have been in the news, but is there a real pressure from regulators now as well? Is that one of the things that's driving it? Yeah, that? absolutely. So mm -hmm. the Bob um, Committee in 2012 said that organizations really need to look at where they're using what they call UDAs, user-developed applications. Really means Excel spreadsheets and access databases. Where they're using those, and those are their only risk measures, they've got a problem. They've got to get rid of them. So the regulators are telling the banks loud and clear that you can no longer rely on your spreadsheet based environment. So it's a reg there's a, there is real, absolute regulatory pressure. 
Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm glad you mentioned spreadsheets. So, uh, you know, uh, everything that, that, that you just mentioned in our conversation, is this kind of the, the death knell for spreadsheets then in the industry? I think it is for reconciliation. <laughs> spreadsheets have their place. You know, I don't think those developers at Microsoft really have to worry about their career path. They, that spreadsheets will still be used. Mm -hmm. It should be the death knell for controls, for, for, reg for, for the reconciliation-based controls that the banks need. Because those controls need to, be, need to be audited, they need to be robust, they need to be able to deal with high volume. The kinds of things that spreadsheets don't do particularly well. What spreadsheets do do well is it's really easy to get data into a spreadsheet. It's actually quite easy to, to, do, to apply a set of functions and build rudimentary matching rules. So what you now need is, is tools, reconciliation engines, that are as easy or easier to implement than Excel but give you that robustness that you need to show the regulator that you really are in control of your environment.